Hello everyone, I hope you are doing very well these days. Um, so I have decided to start the series of videos on using the UCS of Gamera for bioinformatics or for visualizing the protein, for analyzing the protein for the structure minimization, energy minimization, for the comparison and so on, okay? So to start with the camera software tool, we should be knowing the basics first, like how to download the PDB file format of any protein. So for that, first you have to open the home page of RCSB Protein Data Bank. And right here in the in the search box, you have to type the name of your protein. It could be any protein, but any protein you are working on, okay? So these days I've been working on the thiobiotin synthetase. Well, on searching the IDs for this particular name or the protein, I got these number of hits okay so well it totally depends on you with which entry you go it depends on your uh, set of rules or criteria what suits you whatever whatever suits you so right here I'm having the basic crystal structure of the thiobatin synthetase in this particular microorganism the crystal structure is determined with the X-ray diffraction method and it has a resolution of 1.85 Armstrong. And right here, I can see that it this crystal structure is not having any associated ligand or compound. Well, in order to just visualize the crystal structure of the independent uh, protein, uh, independent in a sense that it is not complex with any any kind of coenzyme cofactor or any other enzyme or the protein it's it's pretty good this entry is pretty good for that purpose but in order to you know visualize the protein or study the protein with respect of the bound ligands like if you want to learn the uh, activity of the protein in the presence of a ligand you want to analyze the active side pocket of the protein and so on you have to consider the entries with the associated ligands and compounds so um, as i said earlier that it totally depends upon the criteria of your study of your area of analysis like in what aspect in in what sort of criteria or specifications you are working on so uh, as for the basics let's just keep it simple this time clicking on this ID you get a detailed information web page on that protein so in order to download the files you have to click right here you can download the faster sequence file for the protein and you can download the PDB format file I need the PDB format file to visualize it in the UCSO camera so I'm going with this so let's just have a look what these information can mean. Maybe in the next video I will be uh, discussing on what is the importance of all these information or you know generally how can you get an idea just uh, viewing this by just viewing this information. Right now just keep it till here i will be sharing the next video as well so if you are liking my videos do like and subscribe them please and if you want to suggest something to me you can always comment and you can even contact me personally if you want to if you want to ask any question if you want any sort of help i'm always there Thank you.